I'm John Davenport, Conservation Chair of Denver Trout Unlimited, author, angler, and activist. In these series of videos, we're showing you how to do some at-home fly tying hacks to create some flies out of things that you're just going to find around the house, whether you've got the materials, whether you've got the tools, as long as you have the time. This video is about tying what I call a parachute Abigail Adams. The traditional parachute atoms is such an iconic fly. I've used it in 29 countries around the world and it always catches fish. So I'm not going to insult it by calling this a parachute atoms. It's a parachute Abigail Adams. You know, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust, and we're making the whole thing from stuff that we find around the house, including the hook. First, let's do the hook. Okay, what we need for the hook is uh, a gas burner, a pair of needle load pliers, and just a standard uh, straight pin. We're going to hook up, heat up the tip of the hook until it gets red hot, and then make a couple of bends in it to get it into a hook shape. When we're all finished, we're going to quench it. We're not even going to attempt to put a loop on the end of this hook. We're going to treat this hook like the Japanese ten carat anglers do. Almost all of their hooks are snelled right fast to the shaft of the hook. We have the added advantage in that um, our straight pins have a knob at the end. So we can put a uh, slip knot on a piece of tippet and connect it right to the uh, right to the hook. There we go. Got a reasonable looking hook. Let's quench it and we're ready to go. The materials include the ballpoint pen which we use for tying our half hitches, an old paintbrush. I use the bristles to tie the tails on the parachute atoms. You see I've tied a number over the years. Just an old paintbrush used for many different colors. Wash that each time but the, the tips are just perfect for a tail. We've also got some, uh, some cotton for our parachute, some dryer lint, gray dryer lint, um, which will be the body, some gray thread, a candle. We'll use the candle to wax the thread to make the uh, dryer, lint, dryer lint a little more, adhere a little better to the, um, to the body for our dubbing. Uh, we have two Sharpies, a brown one and a black one. We use the black one to make um, bands of black color on, uh, on our feathers to simulate uh, grizzly hackle and then we color the other feather brown. The two feathers came out of the sofa downstairs and they were just stuffing. Um, finally our two hooks that you see and a pair of scissors. And that's about it. We're going to wind a gray thread onto the body of the uh, <coughs> needle, which is now a hook. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do it um, just by holding it in your hand. Put a nice even level of uh, gray thread on there to create a base. Now we're going to put on the tail, which I've clipped off the uh, paintbrush. Throw in a couple half hitches, make sure it's secure. Now we'll attach the, uh, the parachute wings. Abigail is going to be a little bit larger fly than most of the parachute atoms that I, that I fish with. And it's going to have definitely more bulk. It's going to be a little longer and bigger. It's going to be domineering, just like Abigail Adams herself. And she'll save us from being skunked. She might not save all the artwork, 
in the White House, but I'm sure she's going to be a great, great fly. And we f form a post and wrap up the post to make it stand up on its own. Where that post <coughs> wrap is, down at the bottom, is where we're going to tie in our other two feathers. I used the candle to put a little wax on the uh, on the thread to make the dryer lint adhere a little bit better. Once you see how much fun this dryer lint is to work with, you'll be on your way to Charlie's or Greg's or Rick's to uh, pick up some good dubbing, good gray Adams dubbing. But don't do it right now. We make thin little wraps on here and then wrap in a nice meaty body for Abigail. Only up as far as the uh, parachute. Now we tie in one of our feathers, wrapping it right fast to the uh, to the shaft, and then we're going to wrap it around the parachute and try to anchor it in with a thread. Once you see how much fun this is to do by hand, you'll also be on your way to a local fly shop to get a hackle plier. But it is possible, as you can see. Look at that. Tie it down. Wrap the same way, of course. Tie in your other hackle feather the same way around the base of the post of the um, parachute, this exactly the same way. And then throw a, a couple of half hitches in to make sure it's secure. Now let's go on and uh, add a little bit more dubbing to the front of the fly. Throw in some half hitches. fly is basically finished. This is a good time though to uh, tie on, uh, snell on a, a, a reasonable size foot or so of um, tippet. We just make a simple slip knot, put it over the uh, and fasten it. I'm going to put on a little bit of Sally Hansen's clear nail polish. And you have it. Yeah, Abigail Adams. Dry fly. Can be used for both an indicator or you might even be able to attempt a nice big fish to uh, to hit it on a drift.